Hi, welcome to Bookie. To unlock more world-class bestseller, please download our app. Just search for B-O-O-K-E-Y at Apple Store or Google Play. You will get 7 days free trail with more features. Today we will be unlocking the book novelist as a profession. When speaking of Japanese literature, what is the first thing that comes to mind? Perhaps some people will think of the Japanese writer Kazuo Ishiguro, who received the Nobel Prize in Literature in 2017. Or Yasunari Kawabata's Snow Country, and the author of Norwegian Wood Haruki Murakami might come to mind. The latter is in fact the author and main character of the book we are going to talk about today. This book provides a retrospective look and reflection on his 35-year writing career. Haruki Murakami is a postmodern Japanese writer and one of the most famous and popular novelists in the world today. His first novel here the Wind Sing earned the Gunzo Award for Best First Novel. He published Norwegian Wood in 1987. The Japanese edition sold more than 10 million copies and was adapted into a film. 1Q84 published in 2009 was said to be a milestone for Japanese literature entering the new millennium. Moreover, Kawasaki Sukuru Tazaki and his Years of Pilgrimage published in 2013 sold a million copies in 7 days, breaking the record for the fastest book to sell a million copies in the history of Japanese literature. He received the Jerusalem Prize in 2009 and the Danish Hans Christian Andersen Literature Award in 2015. Although Haruki Murakami is successful in literature, he was neither a talented novelist nor did he grow up wanting to become one at an early age. Before he switched to being a novelist, Haruki Murakami ran a store that played jazz music and served coffee, liquor, and foods. He entered the literary world after the age of 30. and then on began his lifelong career as a writer many people say that writing is hard but haruki murakami who didn't start writing until later in his life does not agree according to him anyone can lift up their pen and start writing a novel he further says that even someone with little talent can write a very good novel on their first try as such why is it that among all the people who have literary dreams can only a few become novelists Why can only a few write for a living and successfully turn it into a lifelong career? In novelist as a profession, Haruki Murakami reveals his thoughts and talks about the most important part of his 35-year writing career, sharing his motivation and the secret behind his enduring perseverance. We will now deliver the essence of novelist as a profession in three parts and share the ups and downs of Haruki Murakami's literary path. Part one. How was Haruki Murakami's literary potential cultivated? Part 2: How did Haruki Murakami begin to write novels? Part 3: How did Haruki Murakami expand his career as a novelist? As a young kid, Haruki obtained average grades and had a rebellious spirit. He did not like competing based on test scores received at school. However, due to the influence he received from his family, He greatly enjoyed reading and was always happy whenever he had the chance to. As for the type of books he read, he indulged in both the good ones and bad ones, the classical and vulgar, the domestic and foreign. For him, whenever he was interested in reading, its contents did not matter. What mattered was the experience of reading itself. From primary school to middle school, there was no one who had ever read as much as he had. This became the solid foundation for his later career as a novelist. In high school, Haruki began to read original editions of English novels. He bought many of them from used bookstores and read them one after another tirelessly, not caring about whether he was able to comprehend them. Ultimately, he was able to finish an English book from beginning to end. Although this did not improve his English grades, he grasped a more flexible and practical English reading technique. This later provided inspiration for his capability to write novels, which we will discuss in further detail later. His rebellion was not only reflected in his neglect of schoolwork, but also extended to other spheres. While he was growing up, he liked to spend the entire night playing mahjong with friends and hanging out with his girlfriend. He attended Waseda University in the late 60s, where at that time 
there were often anti-establishment student movements on Japanese campuses. In Japan, this time period is now regarded as a wave of youthful rebellion. Students would go on strikes leading schools to lock down for long periods of time. Though Haruki did not join any party, he still supported the students' movements. Once, during one of these protests, he witnessed an apolitical student who was killed with indifference. This event affected him deeply, and made him experience sentiments of disillusionment and injustice. In this book, Haruki Murakami expresses his criticism towards the Japanese education system. With a disciplinary structure enforcing strict rules, both the school and teachers are problems. At a school in Kobe, a teacher hurried to shut the school gate when the bell rang. The gate was heavy, causing a late student to be trapped in the gate and got killed. Following this event, this teacher defended his action of impetuously closing the gate, with the justification that he wanted to prevent students from being late. It seemed that from the teacher's perspective, the system was everything, and being late was an unacceptable challenge to the system. Thus such a disobedience toward the system was dangerous and could even cost somebody their life. From Murakami's point of view, the issue of the Japanese education system is a microcosm of wider societal issues in the nation. After the war, the sense of urgency to revive the country spread to all corners of Japan. The entire society only pursued utilitarian goals, resulting in frequent societal issues and the rigidity of social structures. In the book, Haruki Murakami admits that he possesses a cat personality, meaning that he cannot help but to turn left when he hears orders to turn right. On the other hand, it is the obedient dog personality that functions well for the community. Murakami believes the purpose of the Japanese education system is to cultivate a dog personality that leads the collective to uncritically obey orders. Due to a wider chaotic social sphere and campus environment, Murakami could get away with skipping classes without facing punishment. He enjoyed himself in his personal world of books, music, and movies. He hung out with his girlfriend and worked at late-night venues, such as dance halls. There, he gained insight and acquired much of his wisdom about life. In 1971, when Murakami was 22 years old, he decided to drop out of school and marry his girlfriend Yoko. Due to his passion towards jazz music, after getting married, he later opened a store in a basement near the southern entrance of Kokubunji Station. At the store, he would play jazz music and serve coffee, liquor, and small dishes. Because both he and his wife did not have much in savings, they were obliged to do several other jobs. They also had to save money and borrow from families, friends, and banks in order to keep the store running. Murakami and his wife woke up early in the morning and went to bed late at night, living a very frugal life. They did not have a television, a radio nor even an alarm clock. Also lacking heating, they slept cuddling their cats during freezing winters. One time, they could not raise the funds necessary to repay the bank. Thus, the night before the final repayment day, they went out into the streets late during in order to pick up crumpled bills that passers-by may have dropped. Fortunately, they gathered together just enough money to pay back the loan, it almost seemed like a will of God. As for his studies, Haruki Murakami took time off from his job to attend classes, eventually graduating from Waseda University after seven years. Although life was difficult, Murakami was very happy. Because he was into jazz music at the time, he found it very fortunate that he was able to listen to jazz both day and night. He brought a piano from his home into his store where he then held live performances during the weekends. There were a lot of jazz musicians living in the Kokobunji area, and although the pay was low, they happily came to perform. The musicians, audience, and Murakami himself all had a good time. More importantly, during this time Haruki completed his social studies. Because Haruki Murakami was in the liquor business, he was often subjected to unwarranted discrimination and was verbally abused from time to time. Due to these deliberate obstacles, he was full of resentment. Murakami not only had to work from early morning until late at night, but also had to learn how to endure it all and kick troublemaking drunks out from his store. However, eventually, he was rewarded by his hard work. He moved to a bigger neighborhood and expanded his store. 
Through this experience, Haruki Murakami encountered all kinds of people and issues in society, which later provided material for his subsequent novels. As such, just like Murakami wrote in his book, although during the time it was difficult, this experience would come in handy later on. Suffering is not something people should be happy with, but the experience that comes along with it is a precious treasure of life. If Murakami had not acquired these unusual social experiences, his work might not contain such deep thoughts and reflections on life. So, how did Haruki Murakami gather his writing material? His method could be summed up as deferring judgments and paying close attention to details. Murakami only chose to remember details that would interest people, and the best ones are the ones that do not necessarily make sense and may be incomprehensible. For example, for some reason, one of his acquaintances would sneeze when he was angry. Murakami kept this interesting detail in his head. He would collect such details of his daily life and label them with date, place, and status, keeping them in his memory just as if categorizing them in a personal file in one's drawer. Murakami's mind had collected a range of distinct and assorted memories, which were without a doubt a great fortune for his literary creations. Today we are just sharing limited bookie. To unlock more key insights of world-class bestseller, please download our app. Just search for B-O-O-K-E-Y at Apple Store or Google Play. You will get 7 days free trail with more features.